Hello and welcome to the AppShow Setup Utility Fix video of 2024. So this is a two-part solution video. And this video is part one of the two videos that are supposed to fix your computer. So subscribe to get the next one, which I'll be posting next week to complete the fix. For any questions or donations or suggestions, there is my Gmail. And you can also find me on X at VicoHQ. So what shall we be fixing? For Asus computers, we shall be fixing the AppShow Setup Utility, all of them, whichever year. This is the fix. For Lenovo computers, that is the Lenovo Setup Utility, Phoenix Setup Utility for Aspire computers and Insider H2O, also for some Aspire computers. So all these Setup Utilities point to the same problem. They are also all blue. So it is very safe to assume that they all have a similar solution, which is what we are, we are doing here. So the things you must have for this solution is a flash drive that is bigger than 4 GB. So 8 GB. A separate working machine, another computer that works. And you also need proper internet connection. And the internet is to download 4 GB worth of data, what I am calling booting files. The files, it's not a single file. So as you can see, I have a separate working computer besides the door one that is destroyed and a flash disk is on top of it, 8 GB. The only thing that is missing are, is, are the booting files. And to find it, you have to go to the link in the description. This is how it looks. I have mine. I have two of them. It's a small purchase really, just $10 using the link. Buy it and run it. Once you run it, let me show you, I was already running it. This is how it looks. Getting a few things ready. Okay, it will start running and getting a few things ready. So give it a while. It should uh, bring you to the license page where you should accept the terms and conditions. And it will start getting a few things ready again. And just be patient, give it, give it a few minutes. And create, choose the second option, creating an installation media using a USB flash drive. Then click next. The default language, which is English next. And then as you can see, USB flash drive, at least 8 GB. Then click next. Mine is already plugged in. Plug in yours before you run this setup. So you plug it in and then you run the setup. Then once you reach here, it will start downloading. Now here is where you require a reliable internet connection. This is 4 GB worth of data which is downloading, so it will take a while. I guess I will pause the video and come back later when it is done. So once the download is completed, this is how your flash disk should look. You should have 13 files. I have 18 because my flash disk wasn't completely empty. And the icon of your flash disk should have already changed because it is no longer just a flash disk. It's a bootable drive. It's a drive that can be used to boot up another computer. Okay? So once you have these 13 files ready and you have this setup.exe in your flash disk, we can move in to the next part of the solution. 